first guest was professional wrestling's original sexy socialite sidekick. She was the most loved, yet most hated, woman in wrestling. She is here with her tell-all book, First Lady of Wrestling. Please welcome Missy Hyatt. <laughs> Wearing Hello, the Malton Hockey League shirt. Malton Hockey League, of course, they're located in Saskatchewan. <laughs> Very nice to, well, they could be. Very nice to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to be here. Uh, uh, you're quite lovely. Now, Thank how you. did you ever get your hands on that shirt, and how can I? <laughs> Come on over. Just you know, I mean, I've been with a, a lot of different athletes, but never a really handsome talk show host. So, oh, well, you, you know. can say the same thing tomorrow. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Look, too. <laughs> no. no, this is uh, great. Do you, uh, are you from the Malton area? Or? No, I'm not. I just found this today, and I really liked it. You and found it? it. Yes, never, in a store. Never wear clothing you find. Oh, you found it in a store. <laughs> in a store. All right. And we were good. shopping, and yeah. I saw it, and I looked at it. I was like, this is so cool. Well, I must say, it's quite fetching. Thank you. You're quite welcome. And the flower, of course, a nice touch. Yes. Very, uh, I guess, classy. Very classy. Oh, thank you. You're for quite a... welcome. Now, now, how do you, how do you uh, now that you're out of it, now that you're out of the game, how do you, how do you feel about uh, female wrestlers? Well, you that? know, I'm really not out of the game. I still kind of work a little bit on the weekends, but I don't really think women should wrestle. Right. No, I no, think why it do you feel that stupid. Way? Well, because women trying to, like, grab each other and backdrop. You feel they should just submit from the get-go? Is that what you're saying? Well, are you talking in the bedroom or are you talking in the ring? Well, <laughs> I leave it to you from here on out, I guess. Okay, well, in the ring, I think, you know, there should be more of a cat fight and, and like, a bar fight. Yeah. I think that's more appealing right. than two women trying to take backdrops and flying off the top rope and stuff. I just yeah. yeah. Or perhaps women good. just uh, saying things behind each other's backs. That would be good. Have the wrestlers <laughs> walk, walk away from each other and say catty things about each other. That, to me, would be way more interesting. They are. I think they do that in the back all the time yeah. anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, have you ever had any injuries yourself? Uh, say your okay. silicone dislodged or anything like that? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know? I read the book. No, they work really well. <laughs> Let's see China try to do that, okay? I'm, I'm picturing a midget on an exercise wheel making all that. <laughs> yeah, little dribble going. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, what are what are some of the firsts in wrestling for you? You you did it. You you were part of many of the firsts. Yes, well, the, you know, I've been in wrestling year. for like, like 17 years, mm -hmm. and I was the first woman to be like a really a valet and did the kind of cat fighting. Myself right. and Sunshine. We kind of started that in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And um, I was the first Her woman... Her name is Sunshine, you Sunshine. Say? So Back there were many Texas. career opportunities available to this woman, but she chose wrestling. <laughs> she chose wrestling, <laughs> yes. Well, back in those days, there was only two of us. Right. And um, I was the first woman to ever win a man's title. Mm -hmm. It was kind of by accident. As a matter of fact, it was here, it was in Toronto. Right. For Apocalypse Wrestling. Yeah. And um, I was the first woman to co-host a... Um, national wrestling program, mm -hmm. WCW for um, Turner Broadcasting. Right, yes, Ted And Turner. on TSN yeah. here in Canada, I yeah. hosted the worldwide shows, so I did a lot of firsts. Well, what are uh, some of the uh, most horrid things that happen to you in and out of the ring? Can you just give us oh a few examples? Oh, gosh, so many. They, the wrestlers are bad guys. They pulled some bad ribs on me. I would come mm -hmm. in one time. I came in from the dressing room, and my shoes were, like, nailed to the ceiling. And um, <laughs> another time, they locked my dog in a locker. Oh, and um, the best thing was they padlocked a folding chair to my bag, and so I had to go to the airport, like, with this folding chair oh. padlocked to my bag. And, Did it uh, occur to you to cut it off? Or? Well, I couldn't. I was trying to make the flight. We were, like, in Shreveport, right. and I had to get to Dallas to get back to Atlanta, and oh. so it was, like, couldn't stop at a fire station to get the bolt cutters to sure. get the padlock yeah. off. So. And on most planes, you never know when you're going to need extra Yeah, seat. you know, I mean, listen, I got to the gate in Dallas, and it was full, so it's like I have this chair. I'll just go ahead, open it up, and sit down. Right, right. You Which uh, can be used as a weapon. I'm surprised they let yeah. you through with it. I know. Well, this was back, you know, years yeah. ago, so. Now, now the, did you see this Fox Celebrity Boxing last night? Yeah, I sure did. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> always curious, since you're a professional, uh, if you had to pick a celebrity to uh, box with, who would you pick? Oh, definitely Vince McMahon of the World Wrestling Federation. Ooh. And I would do it without the, without the headgear. Yeah. And I'd want the regular pound gloves, mm -hmm. and I'd go in there and kick his butt. Right. 
Because he thinks he's so great and smart. Yeah. And he's not. And if you're gonna kick his butt, what's the point of wearing the gloves, really? It's a kind of... <laughs> That's true. Right That's now, true. You, you seem to have, uh, well, you're expressing anger toward Vince McMahon. Are you angry? No, not really, not really that much anger, but yeah. like, he's, you know, he tried to not get my book published because it's a tell all book, and right. he was like, ooh, so scared that I was going to say stuff. And yeah, well, um, you certainly don't pull any punches in the book. I've got to give you that. Now, I know. Now, uh, how, many, how many men have you uh, been with, so to speak? How long is your show? I mean, well, if you, you want me to name names like now, I mean, just like, just, uh, I know the segment's not that long. We got uh, a, a round <laughs> number would be nice. So. Yeah, I don't really, are we, are we, okay. wrestling, hockey, baseball, or football? Which would you like? Just the average. Hockey? Hockey. Football? Yeah. Hockey? Hockey. Yeah, hockey. Football? Okay, I got it. I got a Jim Kelly story for you. Do you want to hear a Jim Kelly story? Sure, we'd love to hear a Jim Kelly story. You know why he can't win a Super Bowl, poor why? guy? Two nights before the Super Bowl game, I was at his, he was in Atlanta. We were in his hotel room, making out, didn't even get to first base, and he accidentally just, in his pants. And um, I was like, okay. So you gotta go by. So we know that, like in crunch time, when it comes to really important things, he just. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, it's. Uh, I'm sitting there saying, uh, I don't really see a problem. <laughs> now, uh, how about hockey? Because hockey is near and dear to all of us. How many? Um, hockey, I'm not asking well, who. I'm asking how many. Oh, how many? Oh my God, M majors or minors? <laughs> <laughs> Majors. <laughs> Majors. Six, maybe. Six, maybe. Yeah, around six. How many are on a team? That was, well, there was a team. <laughs> that was the first Good. line. Good. No. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> this is quite refreshing. <laughs> I, I, I only read and half you know, the book. And last night, you know, you had on some the WWFers, and then you had on the, the Christian, and then you had yeah, Tori, and yeah, Tori, I'm like, yeah. so, like, there's, like, divas, like, when like hello but anyway i was like kind of laughing when you were talking to christian because you know them you know about venus right he's yes, from I the toronto know area I know and he's supposed well. to be this porn star yeah he's supposed to be quite the man <laughs> oh yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you yeah just let me tell you sure please he <laughs> He's supposed to be this porn star from Las Vegas, and he does this whole thing with a towel, and he's all like this. Yeah. And uh, we went out one night, and I'm thinking, this is a really good-looking, hunky, fabulous looking, looking, fabulous fella. looking guy. Yeah. We go out and dinner and have some drinks. We go back to my apartment. I put on the door CD, come on, baby, light my fire. Before we get to the course, he was done. Yeah. And it was the lamest, lamest stuff. And I'm like, you know, wrestling's really, I mean, I thought he was like, kind of could have been a little bit of his character, and he wasn't. Yeah, that's... It was so disappointing. Well, perhaps the... You know, it sounds to me like uh, the recurring theme may be the fact that you're just far too beautiful, a man loses control. Thank you. Whoop, well. we got to go to commercial. <laughs> Thank you, Missy. Thank Very you. nice to have you here. Missy Hyatt, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with Jennifer Hedger. online concert series at juno.simpatico.ca. 